screening The Sea of Shadows. It's a documentary that is aiming to raise awareness about the links between corruption, transnational organized crime, and the smart partnerships that are being undertaken to combat these issues. Sea of Shadows is about the fight to save the vaquita, which is the smallest uh, oil species on the planet, um, which is super highly endangered. It's on, really on the brink of extinction if we do, if, if you're not doing anything. In the next six months it will vanish and would be the first species under the highest protection of CITES which goes extinct. The vaquita is the world's smallest porpoise and also one of the world's most critically endangered animals. Its collateral damage in, as bycatch in the illegal fishing for the totoaba, which is a fish that is highly prized for its swim bladder on many Asian markets. These species are approximately the same size and so the vaquita is being caught in the same nets being used to fish for the totoaba. And given how few are left, it's really an extinction crisis that's happening. We hope that this film can actually make a difference in saving the vaquita and also saving the Sea of Cortez. Because if the Sea of Cortez um, you know, continues as it is with all the illegal poaching and the activities that are happening, it will be a dead sea very soon. It's important to recognize the link between wildlife crime and transnational organized crime because we want to improve the recognition globally that wildlife crime is serious crime and that it has wide-ranging impacts both environmentally as well as economically and socially. I think people in the world have not yet understood that our planet is seriously under attack. We have organized crime now involved in illegal trafficking of wildlife, of animals. They can make millions and millions of dollars. It's actually a multi-billion dollar industry. Just people are not aware that this is going on. We also need to raise awareness because we need to be able to reduce demand and we need to be able to improve international cooperation to get at the corruption and transnational organized crime involvement in serious wildlife crime. We need governments to take these issues very seriously and see them as organized crime, as corruption, as money laundering business, so that they actually put the resources together to solve these issues once and for all, because they are solvable. And they're very, very time sensitive because these species are disappearing as we speak. And if we don't act now, then it's way too late.